the thing is going to be confiscated now. You're going to take them away from them? Street artists say they are under siege as police sweep in and arrest them and seize their personally priceless works of art. And I was arrested one time with my nine-year-old son on West Broadway. It's a situation that uh, is uh, intolerable for us artists. And on top of the arrests, the artist's work is being confiscated. 75, 350, I'm being now 375, get back in the 350, now 375. Total $450. If the artist is found guilty of peddling without a license, the art ends up here and is sold. But he bought his paintings for peanuts. Indeed, if a picture is worth a thousand words, the police action in the view of these artists is unconstitutional. And in court action, when appeals have been filed, not one has been convicted. It's not a crime. That's what he's saying, the judge. I understand there's a court challenge. I don't believe the police are being asked to do anything that's unconstitutional. Some of these artists complain that their work is going to the auction block before their appeals are won. So even after the case is dismissed, the art is gone, auctioned off with all the other lots of merchandise seized from other illegal peddlers. The art is lumped together with stuff like this, and intermingled with these boxes of seized street wares from peddlers, the artists work paintings that are simply listed by the auctioneers as just pictures, not art. But who is the driving force behind the arrests and the art confiscations? Robert Letterman and his followers blame this woman. City Council person Catherine Freed. So I said, this is not about First Amendment. It's not about content restrictions. It's totally about Mr. Letterman and company wanting to get a free ride. The city council member does have a plan that would push street artists out of Soho. And a neighborhood group has been formed called the Soho Alliance. To ensure that happens, artist Bob Trebosha is a member of the Alliance. Would you sell this in the street? Uh, I don't think I would have the nerve to sell this in the street. This is very personal to me. And what is also very personal to Bob and the Soho Alliance is what they call the clutter the street art vendors generate. What's wrong with this corner here? On well, for one thing, this is a privately owned building and the owner has asked them not to do this. And they don't give a damn about his, about his property rights. But behind us, the artist responsible for the street side display revealed himself. And he, I know this? that he's Who's absolutely that? asked them not to do this. Art, this I will take off my disguise now. And I'd like to say, I'd like to begin by saying the, uh, the owner of this building has never requested to the police that artists don't show their work there. They, well, I would have been arrested for trespassing a long time ago. And if I'm not here, there's somebody sleeping here, there's somebody defecating, there's somebody urinating in that corner. And as for allegations that council member Freed is responsible for the arrests and the seizure of street art. Absolute lie. The battle between the street artists and the Soho Alliance has gotten downright ugly. The artists have been plastering the neighborhood with messages like this. Robert Letterman and his group have given city council their own proposal for change, but right now the Soho Alliance and the street artists have apparently painted themselves into separate corners.